Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the Waddy Most, AVLR32 here, and destroy the ever living Watt Electric Boo Boo Stain Boogaloo off of that like and subscribe button because, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to take y'all's advice in the comment section of my last video. I'm taking a break in the sense of. I'm still going to be playing meta decks like Sprite Purely, Rescue Ace, Branded, you know, all the other stuff, getting ready for the regional season starting August 13th. Um, but I also want to be messing around with stuff out of like Age of Overlord and preparing for the future format, Banless Dependent, obviously, um, because I think that Age of Overlord is going to be an absolutely fantastic set. And so because of that, with this current format just being dog water, I wanted to look ahead to Age of Overlord stuff. And I was like, you know what? What about the new Watt stuff? Like, I talked about it here on the channel, and then I came across, I believe it was Dual Evolutions video, um, who had a Sprite Watt list up. Now, this is, like, just concept theory, right? Like, I didn't do anything to their build. Um, I put some other things on the side that you could maybe mess around with, like Thunder Seahorse, the Thunder Family stuff. You also have the Thunder Dragon stuff, too, that maybe could get thrown in. But this, as a concept, I think is really interesting, and if it was expanded upon, I think could be better because as cool as this Watt Tuna card is, uh, going first and making a level six Thunder Synchro isn't all that good because like even Starleon isn't all that good. It, like it, this seems more like you should make it like a going second deck to like crack boards and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now and go through this video here or deck profile. What, what the hell am I saying? Anyway, uh, so one copy of Watt Draft. God, I remember my dad playing this card back in the day when Shining Darkness first came out in his freaking chamber deck. It is actually pretty good. Uh, this card can attack your opponent directly. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of this turn. Notice that that's not once per turn, ladies and gentlemen. And you're going to notice that with a lot of these older watt cards that um they're not once per turn so then we have watt cobra this card can attack your opponent directly when this card inflicts value damage to your opponent by a direct attack add one watt monster from your deck to your hand so if it attacks multiple times and you get multiple searches it's like a uh, happy memory we played three copies of that then we played three copies of the watt tuna uh this card's actually kind of gross this card can attack directly uh, okay, it's got, what, 800 attack? Yeah, uh, sure, why not? That's cute. You can only use each of the following effects of Watt Tuna once per turn. If your monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, at the end of the damage step, you could special summon this card from your hand. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can tribute this card and one or more non-tuners from your hand and or face-up field. That's really damn good. And if you do special summon one Watt Synchro Monster from your extra deck, whose level equals the total levels of the tributed monsters. So you're capped out at level 8, but the fact that you can go summon Cobra, attack, search for the Tuna Fish, use Tuna's effect to summon it, attack for another 800 damage, and then synchro off into a level 6, like, say, uh, Watt Chimera, then attack directly, use its effect to rip a random card from the opponent's hand, put it on top, so that they're basically losing a draw. Or you can make, like, the level 7 Watt Hydra, um, and yeah, like just have all of the plays like this, it, it really accumulates. Like it's actually kind of nuts. And then we're playing uh three ash, three draw and three imperm for the hand traps. And then we have a sprite engine. So double jet, one red, double blue, and then one carrot. And then back on to the Watts. We're playing two copies of Watt Dragonfly. If this card's destroyed by an opponent's card by battle or by card effect, you can special summon a Watt monster from your deck. That's not once per turn. So if you have multiples, then you could special summon multiple times. Uh, we're playing one Watt Fox. So if this card is destroyed by opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, your opponent cannot special summon a monster or activate spells traps or spell trap effects or monster card effects for the rest of this turn so literally all they can do is normal summon and this thing's a tuner uh and then we're playing one uh watt beta which is also a tuner when this card inflicts battle damage your opponent by direct attack your opponent discards one card of their choice so that's kind of cute uh then we're playing this broke ass card so this is watt train so you add Watt cards, not monsters, cards with different names from your deck to your hand except Watt Train up to the number of Thunder monsters you control with different names. Um, this is a Thunder. This is a Thunder. This is a Thunder. This is a Thunder. Oh, hey, look. This is a Thunder. This is a freaking Thunder. Hello. Like, th this is broken. Like, I was looking at some replays on Dual Evolution. He got out four sprite cards and played Watt Train and searched four cards. Like, bro, this is a spellbook of judgment for Watts, and this is nuts. Now, you might be wondering, well, Avery, it's only as good as the cards it can search. 
This seems pretty good. This seems pretty good. And then you have this card called Watt Cancel. The This was the, actually the uh, Lost Art. So when your opponent would normal or special summon a monster, discard one Watt monster, negate the summon, and destroy it. It's a counter trap, and it's not once per turn. Like, is it the best thing in the world? No. Is it a one of? Probably. Like, similar to, like, if you're playing the, the Visus Starfrost Synchro that can search Manadium Reframing. You could play this as, like, a, a one of because it is uh, technically searchable. So you do have that and like that's like the big thing with this deck is like you get a watt monster in your hand going first you get out multiple sprite monsters that insulates you from nibiru because of red and gigantic by extension you use the watt train to search for a bunch of watt cards or even search like multiple watt cancels as long as you have the multiple watt monsters to discard and you're just negating summons on a counter trap remember that's like a solemn judgment so like the monster doesn't even touch the field so the opponent wants to like synchro summon something you're it's not even going to hit the field sugar boo bear and don't even think about special summon it back because it wasn't properly synchro summon it never touched the field uh and then we got three copies of pot of prosperity oh i didn't even finish reading watt train i'm sorry so it's graveyard effect is that uh during the main phase or during your main phase except the turn set at the grave you can banish it to special summon as many watt monsters as possible different names from your hand and then each effects once per turn so you can add a bunch of watt monsters and then on the next turn banish to summon them uh, then we're playing three prosperity uh two starter with one gamma burst and then three imperm two watt cancel and then uh three watt kingdom so this is a new continuous spell so your opponent cannot activate the effects of any of their monsters in the same column as this card so it's it's kind of like an imperm and or one of your watt monsters that activate when they are no more special summon now from the research i've been able to find on this card it is talking about specifically a Watt monster that has an effect upon being normal or special summon. So it's not like if the opponent summons a monster, say like Alubar, that has an effect on normal summon. No, it's for the Watt monsters from what I've been able to find online. Um, and then its other effect is that you can target one Watt monster you control. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except Thunder monsters. We don't care. Also special summon one Watt monster with a different name from your deck. Then you lose life points equal to the summon monster's attack. You can only use this effect once per turn. That's fine because most of the Watt monsters have low attacks. Like you can summon a Cobra, use the effect of Kingdom to get out like Tuna and then make like a level eight Synchro or like, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, so it all depends on like what other Thunder Synchros there are in the game. Um, that could like make an instant level eight thunder synchro off of the watt kingdom that makes it worth playing like an omni negator or something um for the extra deck we're playing two copies of sprint one cerberus one some summer summoner so once per opponent's turn quick effect you ditch a card target a thunder monster in your grave except a link monster and special summon it seems pretty good it's playing thunder dragon back in the day uh one unicorn one access code double gigantic double watt chimera with uh one star leon uh, two Watt Hydra, and then two Wada Warus. Uh, Wada, 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 I don't even know. Uh, so it can attack direct, and when it inflicts battle damage your opponent by a direct attack, you can shuffle both one Watt Tuner from your grave and one face-up Thunder Non-Tuner you control into the deck. And if you do special summon one Watt Synchro Monster from your extra deck, except itself. And you can only use this effect once per turn. Fun fact, uh, all of the Watt stuff is really cheap, so this stuff's really under the radar right now. Am I saying that it's good? No. I think like being able to search stuff like Watt Cancel is kind of cool, I think that they need, like, a bit of a better trap card that, like, does something besides negating summons. Like, I'd rather it be, like, some sort of negate. Because, like, if you're going to set up all these monsters, like, they can just Dark Ruler you out of nowhere. And then, like, you have a Watt cancel to, like, stop their summon. But, like, if you're going against Cash Tira, like, they're going to go Special Summon Fenrir. And, like, are you really going to go Watt cancel? Like, if they have a Unicorn, you don't have another Watt cancel. Like, your, your butthole is wide open for Conquest. Um, and then, the, the, like I said, the side deck here is, is really nothing. This is the original art of Watt Cancel. I, I like this art better. Um, but yeah, like other stuff, you can play Photon Sanctuary, Photon Lead, maybe Sakitama and Aratama, um, maybe Watt Pheasant. Like, it's really cool with, like, all the different Watt cards that we have access to in the game currently um, to kind of mess around with this deck. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Watts. I just wanted to throw this out there. I know Dual Evolution has already shown some replays like a month ago, but like I, I think that this Tuna card has some kind of application, Like especially with that Watt Cobra Tuna line. like Being able to attack, do 1,000 damage, and then search Tuna, be able to special summon it, and then attack, and do a bunch of stuff in the battle phase. Reminds me of um, Cosmo back in the day, which, fun fact, was actually the first ever deck that um i got my invite with to uh nationals i remember i came in 47th i just barely made top 48 i went six and three and uh, i was playing cosmo i was i net decked a uh build that had topped a regional two weeks prior and it played jurigato and jurigato threw, threw people off all day it was hilarious i still love that card uh not as much as light and darkness of course 
Um, but uh, having all those battle phase shenanigans can really throw people off. And especially whenever you have a sub engine like this, you know, you start off with sprites and then the opponent's thinking, oh, he's playing sprites, you know, similar to purely sprite. Yeah, it may not be the optimal way to play purely, at least in some people's opinions. Um, but like, you know, being able to have this sub engine of gas to go into, and then the opponent tries to, you know, droll you or they waste a hand trap. And it's like, okay, I'm going to go down my watt lines now. And it's like, wait, this man's playing watts. Like, what is the scrub doing at table one? <laughs> so is it going to be like tier zero? No, like this may not even get off the ground, but I, I feel like that there is some sort of application here that can potentially be abused. You know, who knows? Maybe we'll get like some TCG exclusive thunder stuff an age of overlord that like makes this stuff really good um but you know level four thunder tuner seems really really nasty so guys let me know what you think down in the comments below is there just something i'm missing where this is just booty booty butt cheeks or are you going to test this out for yourself let me know if you're already testing it out are you playing thunder dragon stuff just let me know let's ha let's have some fun thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video